Welcome to this tutorial on connecting devices with an AES-3 or SPDIF coaxial lead. AES-3 and SPDIF are the two most popular professional and consumer two-channel digital electrical interconnects. AES-3 is essentially a professional version of SPDIF. Many devices feature both interconnects and for most applications there is no audible quality difference between them. At standard sampling rates, 44.1 kHz and 48 kHz, the PCM data transmitted by both formats is essentially identical, but the AES-3 format is better protected and at a higher level, plus 4 dBU. Connecting devices with AES-3 or SPDIF coaxial leads requires two distinct processes. Firstly, physically connecting the leads, and secondly, configuring the digital word clock synchronization signal, which may involve connecting a BNC word clock lead. Here's a run through of the processes. Firstly, turn down the monitoring level. Two, turn on the voice channel mic preamp. Three, check that phantom power is disabled on the voice channel mic preamp. Four, nominate the device which will operate as the word clock master, either the audio interface or the mic pre voice channel. If the mic pre voice channel does not have either word clock or digital in, you'll have to set it as the word clock master. Five, if your audio interface has a word clock or digital output and is the word clock master, and the voice channel has a word clock or digital input and is the slave, connect a suitable digital or BNC lead from the audio interface to the voice channel and terminate the signal as necessary. Check the voice channel's manual on which BNC termination method is required and watch our tutorial on digital audio synchronization for more advice. Six, Connect an AES-3 or SPDIF coaxial lead from the voice channel output to the audio interface input. 7. Set a door track to receive the signal from the voice channel mic preamp. 8. Set the sample rate of the voice channel mic preamp to match that of the word clock master device. 9. Set the word clock sync of the voice channel mic preamp to slave to the audio interface and check that it has locked. 10. Set the I.O. of the voice channel to digital AES or SPDIF coaxial out. 11. Connect a microphone to the voice channel mic preamp. See our tutorial on connecting microphones for the correct procedures. 12. Whilst observing the meters on the voice channel mic preamp, the audio interface and the door track, ask your performer to start performing and raise the input gain of the voice channel mic preamp until you have a good level averaging approximately minus 6 dB on the digital scale. And lastly 13, raise the monitoring level. The script for this tutorial, with accompanying screenshots, can be found at projectstudiohandbook.com. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or at the website to get instant notification of new videos as they are uploaded. And please do click on the ads of interest to you. We're a free resource and they help to pay our costs. Thanks very much for watching.